time I've landed. <laughs> Well, that, that's, that's obviously that's an exceptional stunt, but the stuff that we see in, in kind of the big action movies like Barroom Balls, Indiana Jones, that kind of stuff, mm. I've always been fascinated by that, and I know you're going to give us away a few of the secrets here. I believe these are, these are some of the kind of props that are used, aren't they? Well, these are some of the props. Obviously, we need props to help us, again, recreate using the, the general principle for stunt work, which is make it as spectacular or realistic as possible, but be as safe as possible. This is a good example so of one. These are safe, though. These, are, these aren't oh, real glass and... Well, sort of. They don't hurt too much. They're... Held by the, you know, watch. Oh! <laughs> you see, um... <clears throat> you could just have told me, you know, Tim. <laughs> so, so uh, and I must admit, even though I, I know it's not real glass, it bloody hurt. <laughs> <clears throat> but it was fun though, wasn't it? This is it's a good fun job you got here. What about a big item? What, what's the key to doing like a bigger orchestrated fight without actually getting hurt? Action coordinator working with the fight director, um, or with the director, works out the fight in advance and then by using timing and practice, practice, practice between the different stunt performers um, and the actors, they work on a, a, a fight and get bigger and bigger. I've, I'll give you an example. Stand up, stand up. You're a fine figure. Man, aren't you? Bless you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now, for instance, if, um, <laughs> just happen to have a chair here handy. Thank you very much. But this isn't going to hurt me in any way, is it, Tip? You bet it's going to bloody hurt you after that. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make you too hard. <laughs> oh. yes. What was the last thing you were going no, to no, say? No, no, no. Okay, I'll tell you what's going to happen. Obviously, if I did just swing it and hit you, you'd be in some problem. So I'd be very upset. We'll work on this. <laughs> I'm going to give you a timing. Right. One, two, three, duck. Mm -hmm. On the duck, you duck. <laughs> Let me see if I've got that, Tip. <laughs> I yeah. just want to say how I've always admired your work. <laughs> I believe you. Okay. One, two, three, duck! Oh, that was, okay, give, that him was a, give him a fantastic. hand Fantastic, thank you very much. Did that look impressive? It's quite light, isn't it? <laughs> it's light, but it's still, still solid. So, uh, now, I, so I could... Well, we could try... If you want to. Yeah, one, two, three, duck. Right. Yeah, and I'll do a good duck. Are you ready? Stand so by. One... Wait, I'm ready. One, two, three, duck. I did all right, that's kind of nice. Fantastic. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that enormously. That was all right, it was exciting. Tip tipping, stunt man, everything. But I'm really, I am disappointed because I've always just wanted to do one of those big punches where you just go like that. <laughs> there you go. And to tip tipping. Somewhere out there in the land where fantastic facts are born, our roving reporter, the ever-truthful Fiona Armstrong, is standing by with another gripping story to report.